Right, in this tutorial we're going to cover sending an email using MediaMailer's inbuilt template system. So to get started we're going to click the third link on the navbar which is create and send mail and on the subsequent page you'll see there's four options. Uh, for this particular lesson we're going to be using the create using template system so we click the third blue link along the top. Now this is step one of the process. Now in step one you're asked to associate your email to a campaign. Now campaigns are explained in a previous chapter. Uh, I'll briefly recap here. Uh, campaigns are really just a, a reference point. It's a, it's a way of grouping your emails into a nice little collective archive. Um, so when that you've sent hundreds and hundreds of emails and you're trying to find particular emails that are of importance, if you actually send the important emails and, and place them within a campaign it will find it a lot easier to actually get hold of these emails and compare your data. So what we're going to do, we're going to send our email and associate it to a campaign we called YouTube Tutorials which we created in an earlier chapter and we're going to click save and continue. Now in the next step we select the template that we want to use to send our email. Now Mail has got quite a few inbuilt templates, some are quite funky, some are quite nice and clean and corporate. So there's quite a few to choose from and hopefully you should be able to find one that suits your needs. Now for this particular template uh, tutorial we're going to use Media Mailer Codes which is the one at the bottom of the list. Now this particular template uh, isn't intended to be used for any actual commercial or solicited emails that you send. It's literally a reference point and you'll see why when I press select and continue. Now this is step three and this is where you actually edit your email and you can see you've got a little WYSIWYG editor at the top and you can see the content of the email in full colour so it's very very easy to preview what your email will look like. And it's very very simple to format. But this particular template is actually a good reference point for you to find out how to use personalization because personalization is a very, very powerful tool which you can use Media Mailer to do. But it also means that you can have much, much more success with your emails when you send them. So you'll see from this list here that you can uh, embed data into your emails of anything ranging from the first and last name of your recipients, their email address, the company, their occupation, their country of residence, telephone, date of birth and anything from uh, data 1 through 10 which is the custom data fields which you can basically place anything in within the address books. So effectively you could send an email and address the person with their first name and their last name uh, even their company name so it's a very very powerful tool that allows you to do quite a lot of things so you can imagine the possibilities. So if you want to add someone's first name and last name you'll simply just follow the, the text here which I'm highlighting and if you place that within your email as you'll see later on in the example when we send an email, that, that actual code will be replaced by the person's first and last names. So it's a pretty nifty little tool. Uh, now, lastly, just below that, uh, I'd like to highlight these tracking codes. Now, this information here is more aimed at uh, people who intend to edit their own HTML or email templates or create their own templates of some form. Um, to, to make sure that Mailer tracks the open rate and the recipient rate of emails correctly you need to add the standard tracking tag. Now um, as you can see we've got our little flashing GIF animation here. Now um, <clears throat> this animation represents that we've actually successfully placed the tracking tag code on the email because this little graphic wouldn't show otherwise. Um, and so when that's there you know you've got the code working. If you need to know how to actually write the tracking tag code, there is actually a reference within the tools and utilities section of the uh, Media Mailer which has a complete list of all the codes to use, so you can follow that. Uh, however, all of the templates that are built into Media Mailer already have this facility in place, so there's no need to worry about that. Now the last two little pieces that I need to tell you about are the standard unsubscribe tag and the standard click through tag. Um, now, it's good practice to have an unsubscribe link in your emails for obvious reasons. We don't want to annoy people, we don't want to just send them emails and not give them the option to be removed from your database. So what you can do is you can add an unsubscribe link and we'll simply type that there. And now to highlight that and then this simple step is just by pressing the unsubscribe link button and that is a fully working unsubscribe link. So it's very, very easy to do that within Media Mailer. Now likewise, if you wanted to click uh, people to click links within your email and you wanted to track the links that they actually click, you can add what's called a click-through link. So you could say, for instance, read my blog. 
Now if you highlight that text, again go up to the menu and you press this button here which is called the click through link button, select that and that will bring up a pop-up window. And within that pop-up window you simply type in the address of the website that you want the person to be relocated to, click save and then you're done. It's that easy. <clears throat> now, before we move on, we must make sure that we add a subject line to our email. And then at the base of the page, we need to ensure that we generate plain text content. Now, plain text content needs to be generated because there's lots of different devices and programs that don't always generate and read HTML formatted content correctly. So, Blackberries, for example, are, are a good um, example of a handheld device that can't read HTML. Now, it's not all Blackberries, but some older models don't. So, we need to actually do this. Once we've done that, then we can click Save and Continue. Now, this penultimate step is uh, a useful way to actually preview your emails. Now, there's two fields here, as you can see. We can send a preview to up to two email addresses. Now, when you receive this email, it's just for reference, visual purposes only. Uh, things such as personalization won't work because it's not extracting data for anywhere. It's literally just dumping what you've got so far into an email and sending it to you to preview. But it's a good way just to see that you're happy with the visual representation of the email that you've got. Uh, but in this case, we're going to skip this and we're just going to go straight to the next stage. Okay, so this is the last step. Uh, so before you send your emails, you have to decide who you're going to send them to. And to, uh, to do this, you need to create what's called a list group. So a list is basically a collection of email addresses put into one little group, which we call a, an email data list. Now, we've created one here on the left-hand side, which is called demo list. Now, if you're not sure how to create lists or you haven't done so already, then please refer to another chapter which shows you how to do this. It's very straightforward. Uh, but if you don't have any lists set up, you won't be able to send any emails. But what we'll do is we'll add this list and then we'll press send email. Okay, so that's off and away. And as you can see, the, the number is, is now going to count down and within a couple of seconds you'll see it's finished. And there you go, it's done. So that email has now been finished and we're ready to review the reports.